Hey everyone, welcome to Backcountry Runaway. Uh, I'm coming back at you with another video. Uh, this is a gear picks video. I decided I'm going to do my gear picks all in one video. Let me know what you think. Uh, like, subscribe, and share if you like the content. Uh, can't wait to get on the trail. I got trail fever and uh, can't wait to take y'all along with me on the journey. So, starting off with my big three. Uh, I'll do my backpack first. This is a 3F ultralight gear backpack. Uh, I think it's a great backpack for the price. Uh, it serves me well on about 30, 35 miles worth of trails so far. Uh, I think it's pretty comfortable. It weighs in at only two pounds uh, with excess straps being able to be removed if you use an inflatable sleeping pad or something like that. Um, there's definitely ways to make it lighter without sacrificing the uh, functionality of it. Uh, I think it's a great backpack. It was within my budget. And it's comfortable. So that's all that mattered to me. This is the River Country Products one person tent. It's a trek and pull tent. It weighs in at like two and a half pounds. Um, I think it's a nice tent for the money. I don't think you can get one better than it at Walmart. Um, the customer service is fantastic. I had issues with the first tent that I got and um, I called them up and let them know about it and uh, they replaced it with no issues. Um, great tent. Uh, customer service is awesome. Um, so I think it's the tent that is going with me. Next on the list is my sleeping bag. This is a Perea Outdoor Products uh, 15 degree sleeping bag. It's a mummy. Um, I use it more like a quilt most of the time uh, because I really don't like mummies and I had no idea about quilts when I first got this thing. So uh, yeah, um, it's a great, great sleeping bag. Uh, I think they retail for around 150 bucks. Um, but uh, I think it's a, a great sleeping bag. It weighs less than three pounds by itself. I think it's like two and a half pounds and then it's like right at three pounds with the dry sack that I keep it in. I got slept in it in the 20s and was nice and toasty, but I'm a, I'm a warm sleeper anyways, so uh, I think it's gonna work out great for me. This is the Thermarest Z-Rest foam sleeping pad. This is what I'm going to be using. I got this on sale last year for like 15 bucks. So, um, yeah, this is what I'm going to be using. I like it. I cut it down. Uh, I cut it down three sections to make it uh, not as bulky when using it as my uh, frame on my backpack. So it's like, you know, not a full pad, but... I like it. I use my backpack most of the time uh, as uh, up under my feet for the rest of my pads. So it works out. Those are my clothes in that bag right there. But I'm going to do those in a separate video to actually break down and show you what I'm taking for clothes. Um, so I'll do those in a, a separate video. My trekking poles are Alpine Summit trekking poles. They have cork grip handles, uh, lever locks and I've used these for about 50 miles and love them a lot. Uh, glad I started using trekking poles. Uh, probably will never go back to not using trekking poles and I think these does it for the money. All right, next on the list is my cook system. So this is a very ugly pot cozy that I made out of a sunscreen of a car and I kept the strap uh, on it. That way I could uh, tie it all together and it'd be like a dry sack or like a bag or whatever to keep it all snug together um, and here I got my spork, a lighter and a Swiss Army knife then I got my stove right here this is a mono price stove it's modeled after the pocket rocket I think it's a great stove bandana and this is the Toke 700 uh, I like it a lot it's a great little great little pot that serves its purpose um, that's my cook system In this little bag right here I got hygiene uh, first aid and um, 
repair kit. Uh, so I got floss, toothbrush. I don't have toothpaste in there right now because I'm going to buy a new tube. Uh, this little pill bottle has Benadryl and a leave in it. I got a little thin piece of leather to strap my knife on. Um, some fishing line, an extra bottle cap, and that blue thing right there is my ankle support that I use sometimes on my right ankle because my right ankle is kind of bad and I need it sometimes. Um, that's, that's that, and I also have hand sanitizer on the outside of my backpack. Alright, right here I have my guidebook. No need to explain that. Uh, this is a Z line from Z Packs. I plan on using it for using it and this for my uh, bear hanging kit. That's gonna be my rock bag. Uh, electronics. I got my power bank, headlamp, uh, cords. I got a dual port um, box uh, wall plug in for it. Uh, this is my trail wallet. It's by Kiva Outdoors, great company, great people who own it, um, great customer service and all that. Um, that's my trail wallet. Water purification or water filtration, my Sawyer Squeeze. I think it's tried and true, so I'm gonna be using it. Don't accidentally let it freeze like I did my first two of them. <laughs> uh, well, actually my first one I let freeze, the second one I wasn't sure and wasn't willing to risk it, so that's why I just went ahead and got another one. This is a Frog Togs jacket. That's gonna be my rain gear. Maybe I might go back to my poncho. I don't know. We'll see. I like my poncho. Um, then I forgot to mention this is the bag that I'll carry my food in. This is a 12 liter Osprey Ultra Light Dry Sack um, that I plan on carrying my gear or my food and scented items in uh, to hang up. Um, but yeah, so that's my gear, everybody, sitting on top of this nice wool blanket that I wish wasn't so heavy so I could take it with me because I love wool blankets but no that's a six pound blanket and I ain't doing all that so anyways thanks for watching my video everybody um uh, I'm over a hundred subscribers now uh now that's awesome <laughs> shout out to all my subscribers and thanks thanks everybody for watching and following along I can't wait to get out on the trail trail fever is calling um this is my gear, so y'all let me know what you think. I had to budget or you know work around my budget and um, things that I could afford and what was practical for use. Um, I try not to have anything extra. I know I do have a couple of little things that I could get rid of, like the little piece of leather for my knife. And oh, that reminds me, this is my main knife that I'm gonna be carrying. It's my more classic. Uh, I carry this thing just about everywhere I go, so it's not going to make no difference in weight to me. I've carried it many times on the Appalachian Trail and have not wanted to send it home or, you know, drop it off or anything yet. It's mostly around my neck, so I don't really feel it on my back anyways. Um, but, yeah, uh, I think that covers all my gear. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, any other suggestions or anything else any you know anybody wants to do y'all let me know we can get together for some short hikes if you want to or you know do whatever um, this is Sam at Backcountry Runaway thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it and until next time hey everybody I was just popping back in to let you know that um, I'm an Amazon affiliate now so if you want to help support my hike at no cost to you you can use the links down in the dis uh, description below um, to do your shopping on Amazon and it'll help me out a lot so if you could do that it's greatly appreciated uh, thanks for watching my video